Hey guys, welcome back to another video. And today I figured I would uh, do something a little bit different. Um, I've had a couple questions in the past on my hiking videos on kind of what I take, what I pack gear wise on my uh, day hike trips. And so I figured I'd go ahead and show you all some of that stuff. So this is just strictly for a day hike trip or a, um, I guess a longer day trip. None of this stuff would really apply. Well, some of it would apply for an overnight backpacking trip. Um, but this is for day hike strictly. So if you want to see something for an overnight uh, trip, well, I'd have to get that gear first. Used to have some of it, but <laughs> or rented it back then. But this is what I got for these uh, day hike trips. So a lot of really cool stuff here. So let's go ahead and start with what I'm wearing. What I'm wearing on a trip, and the most important thing is always footwear. And so this these shoes are actually... I, I use these for a lot of different things, but where I heard about them is for um, long distance through hikers, and that is because they are both light and durable. And so these shoes are, I mean, they're very comfortable, first of all, but I've not had them that long, but I mean, you could maneuver them pretty well, and they are absolutely super light. I mean, they're like a running shoe, really. And you notice they don't have heel support for rolling your heel. When you're on long hikes, um, it is nice to have that on occasion, but I mean, you would really want something light at the end of the day because it's going to allow you just to uh, hike further and just not get quite as tired. So these are the Ultra Lone Peak 5s, as you can see right here, orange edition, but I highly recommend those. They're a little bit more expensive than a normal hiking shoe, but they will definitely last the time, and I think they're a worthy investment. Next thing is my pants that I wear. So these are just, um, they're a really thin layer of pants. Uh, I think, what brand are they? Columbia. I just got these over at uh, Dick's or Field and Stream. And they're pretty, they're pretty simple. They're just really light. And they actually have a zipper where you can unzip them and turn them into shorts. But because these are so light, I wear them all year round. Even on the hottest summer days, they don't make my legs hot, but they keep the bugs off me and they um, keep me out of thorns and stuff like that and stuff from getting my legs. So definitely something that I like to have and I take them fishing too. So all sorts of uses for these. They're just nice to have around, not too expensive either. Next up is of course my Jark shirt. <laughs> Everyone needs a cut off Jark shirt for their hiking. Um, but like I said, you know, you can wear anything shirt wise, just make sure it's kind of lightweight and breathable. Next, I have this, uh, I don't know what you would really call it, just face guard. So this is when the bugs are pretty heavy out there or it's a colder morning, just put this over your face. Not really something that's necessary. Up here, hat, same thing. I mean, it's nothing special, it just keeps the sun off of you. Um, it keeps me cool, it's breathable. All this stuff, this is way too old. I don't even use this half the time. But it is nice to have something similar to that. But like I said, those aren't essential. Just something to keep the sun off you. Right here, now this is my newest purchase. This is why I really want to make this video because this backpack right here is absolutely amazing. And so I've, I've been uh, hiking for you know, most of my life, probably how most of you all are. But just in the past few years, I've kind of gotten more serious about it. And I've never had a true backpacking backpack. And when you think about it, it's like, oh, it's just a bag. Like, it's not going to make that much of a difference. This absolutely makes the difference. This can allow me to go so much further. It's incredibly comfortable and lightweight and also has great structure to it. And so you're probably wondering what it is. And that is the Osprey Talon 22. So if you look up pretty much any backpacking website for day hike backpacks, they are going to tell you this one. Because, like I said, it is very lightweight. I'm not for sure the exact weight on it, but plenty for for uh, just a day hike. It's very breathable, as you can see with these pads. This will keep you from getting too hot, your back too hot. It's got the waist strap and the sternum strap on here. So plenty that you'll need right there. It's also got these front pockets right here, which are super nice to have. And I keep... I think I usually keep a knife in there for the most part, but it's very nice to have these. And it also, it's kind of got a slight, well, it doesn't really have a suspension in it, but because it's got a frame inside of it, it keeps everything locked in here with all kinds of straps. 
And for a day backpack, this is really more than I need for most cases. It holds an absolute ton in here. So let me show you. You can't really tell back in here, but it is 22 liter backpack. And so it's got a top pocket right here where I put things that I need to grab really quickly. So it's not that deep, maybe five inches deep. And it's got some inside pockets right here. Also has some, uh, some different things for the water bottle and things. But this isn't a backpack review. If you want to see one of those, Osprey themselves do absolutely amazing reviews. I just am here to suggest this as a great backpack. So let's move on up here. So food items. Like I said, this is just a day trip. So usually I try to pack things that'll be fairly light and easy to carry, but also um, just will sustain my energy levels. So that's things like granola. I take that if I'm going on a longer day hike. But usually it's just things like this, some crackers or a protein bar, just something to kind of get me through the miles. And then water, I just use something simple like a water bottle. It's tempting to use a thermos and put ice in there, but let me tell you, it is not worth it at the end of the day when you're doing some serious miles because that thermos, everything that you pack carries some amount of weight. So you have to think about that. Everything you, you take with you is going to be heavier on you. So this lightweight water bottle, it's perfect. I usually take a couple of these. And actually at the moment right now, I'm looking to get um, some sort of water purification tablet or um, some sort of squeeze solution straw or whatever you would call it, filter straw. That way I can um, you know, drink creek water if I find it or something. Not that I would ever usually need that on a day trip, but if I were to get lost somewhere, it's always good to have something to purify water in case you need it. So let's go on down here. So got to always have sunscreen. It's a little container, very lightweight. Doesn't want a big one, but it does the job. Always take sunscreen. This, it's kind of funny. So this is just cardboard with some duct tape wrapped around it because you never know when you'll need duct tape out there. And so this is just a little patch of it. But if I were to rip my shoes, rip my pants, rip places on my backpack, or even things like if you cut yourself out there, you can use this as some sort of uh, patch to go over it. And, it. and it works well with what I've got in here. So I've got some gauze and stuff in here. That way, if I were to get a pretty big cut, I could use this to wrap it and keep it on there pretty good. So I would recommend taking this. This is a pretty cool little idea and obviously very easy to make. It's just cardboard with some strips of duct tape wrapped around. So over here, I always make sure to take a medical kit with me because it's the woods. You never know what'll happen. So let me get some of the stuff out here. I'll just briefly go over it. So this is good stuff. This is just some, uh, I think it's Neosporin spray just to clean the wound. Same thing with this, just some Neosporin to put on the wound. Q-tips, like I said, clean the wounds. And then several different types of Band-Aids, all different sizes. That way, in case I do get cut out there, I'll have something to go over it. Um, moleskin, this is really nice to have. So this is for when you're getting, if you get a blister or something out there, you can just rip a strip off of this and put it on where you are, um, not cut at, but where you had that blister at, and it'll keep you from rubbing. So that is a must have this right here. So there's some gauze in here, just for soaking up blood or anything if you get cut. And then just some disinfecting wipes right here. I also make sure to take some Advil or Tylenol. And also these are just some Tums in case my stomach hurts while I'm out there. Not super necessary, but I like to take them. Oh yeah, I forgot, this is kind of cool. So in here, I'm not gonna open it up, but I don't know, you don't necessarily have to take this, but in here, it is not contacts actually. Right here is fishing line and hooks. So if I were to get lost out there, I want a way to be able to get food. I've got a way to get water if I get, got, get my purification tablets in, which I plan to. But I need to get away, I need a way to get food. And for most people that are day hiking, you're not gonna run into a situation where you're gonna be out there for so long lost that you're gonna need food, but I always think it's cool. So I keep maybe six feet of six or seven feet of fishing line and then some hooks to be able to get some fish. Also, there's some artificial uh, kind of worm things just so I can use for bait, but pretty fun just to take. So right here I've got my knife. Always something that every hiker should have is some sort of knife. You could use it to defend yourself or, you know, anything else, cut something, 
cut your way through the woods. Uh, I mean, if you get wounded, you can, I don't know, use it for anything, I guess. Cut up your food. It's good to have. If I, this one's straps around your belt. If I don't have this, then I usually always carry one right in my front pocket. That way it's easy to access. If I got attacked by a bear or something, I could try to stab my way out. Lip chap with SPF. It's good to have that. Um, sunglasses, obviously everyone needs sunglasses. I like polarized ones like this because I like looking at rivers at fish. And then these are also nice to have. These just go on the back of your sunglasses, keep them from falling off your head. So you can kind of put them down around your neck and it helps a lot when filming. Speaking of filming, here's some of the film equipment that I take. So I always take my GoPro and this is a chest mounted GoPro. So that way it'll go right on my chest, kind of see what I see from that frame of view. And it's good to have in case something just out of the blue, an animal jumps on the trail and you want to film it, you just reach down and press this button and it does it within a half a second. So that's super good for quick action shots and also time lapses, that's pretty good. But it's not the best film quality. I need to upgrade this. So when I am not using that, I usually use my phone and I just put, the, put it on this tripod. I also have a gimbal that I take out sometimes, but that's pretty rare. That's if I'm going somewhere where it's not a longer hike because it's pretty heavy. But this thing, it's just a little tripod for the phone where I can film sequences. If I'm out there alone, I can film me walking off or walking up. So it's good to have, it's lightweight. Because I film with my phone, it is always good to have this. This is a backup charger, so just a simple little battery pack. Charge it beforehand, and I think it'll maybe give two hours of life to your phone. So that's good to have whether you're filming or not in case your phone goes out of battery. Also, I, I bring a uh, little cord to charge with, with it. If I get lost or if I'm hiking at night, this is always something good to have, a headlamp. It's got decent brightness, nothing special, and it's really lightweight. It goes right around your head, and you can use this to uh, find your way in the dark pretty well. I don't know what this is. A bag. And then also, just a bandana. I like to take this with me. I mean, I guess you could use it for your face, but if you cut yourself really bad, you can use this as some sort of tourniquet and wrap it around your leg or your arm and kind of restrict the blood flow. So it's always good to have something like that. As you can see, half of the stuff I bring is preventative, medical preventative things because while hiking is fun and something that I love to do, I do realize how dangerous it can be. And I know people that have gotten seriously hurt and definitely have heard many stories of people getting seriously hurt. And so a lot of times I'm out by myself on these trips and I might be, you know, nine or 10 miles out into the backwoods. It's always good to have something out there that way you can, I guess, uh, patch yourself up if you get hurt and you have to get yourself out of there. Cause a lot of times I'm not gonna have a cell phone signal to call someone. Also recommend with this, you take the necessary classes to learn how to do this. Um, you know, if I, if I really needed to, I can sew myself up with this fishing line. So you never know what you'll have to do out there. Some of you might think this is overkill, but I've been doing this for a decent while and I, I just feel comfortable with all this stuff, having it. Looking at all this, it seems like a lot, but it packs down super tight when you get it in there. And most of this stuff is really light, lightweight. My estimate for how much my carrying weight is is about 15 pounds. 15 pounds for a day hike is just fine. That's all you really need. When I was doing overnight hikes, we'd try to keep it under 40. And that seemed like a lot of weight, but when you're doing uh, backpacking trips, you usually have a backpack that, that can support this. This thing can support 15 pounds easily, easily. I've not tried much more than that, but so far that, uh, that seems to work for me. So yeah, I appreciate y'all watching this video. Um, I'll let you know if I add anything more to this, probably during my hiking videos. But I hope you all got something out of this. Um, if you have any suggestions for things I could take, I'm always up for it. I, uh, I love watching gear videos because it gives me so many cool ideas. And um, before next hiking season in the spring, I'm, I'm hoping to get a few things to add to this and maybe uh, get into some overnight backpacking gear. So yeah, thank you all for watching. Um, make sure you leave a like if you enjoyed this. And if you wanna see more videos like this, make sure you subscribe to the channel. I've got plenty of fun stuff coming up. Thank you all.